everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about hacking your tiny home. Five ideas for your small kitchen. My family and I are currently renting and we are renting a teeny tiny house. The two boys can make everything feel really small. So I ran into quite a few challenges with our kitchen. I fondly refer to it as our pocket kitchen because it feels like I'm in a pocket. So here are some ideas that I came up with to create a little bit more space to actually really utilize any tiny amount of space that I could find. And I hope these help you in your home. Number one, open shelves. So most likely if you live in a rental like me, you're not in love with the shelving or even the cabinets in your kitchen. And there's really not much you can do about that. We just happen to have an open space, so we put two open shelves that turned out really cute. I'll insert a picture here. I can just unload most of my dishes right onto those shelves, and my dishes are all white, so they're super cute to have exposed, and it's like a little pop of design in the space. I have linked below a few really cute options from Amazon. Number two, that pesky little area that gets so dusty above your cabinets. If you have a higher ceiling and maybe your cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling, um, that is wasted space. So my husband once again took his very handy self to Home Depot. He measured that space above the cabinets, got a just regular old board. I didn't even paint it. Slapped it on top and I put vintage wooden boxes up there, but you could really use anything. White bins would be a really cool like bright look at the top. Um, you could use canvas. Really the sky's the limit. If you have a really cute antique store near you, I encourage you to go look there for those kinds of bins. But if you don't, I found some really cute options on Amazon, which are linked below. So number three, and this has been one of my very favorite things. I might carry it over into my next house. I don't know, but that's magnetic spice tins. Um, I do all of our cooking 95% of our cooking at home and so I use a lot of spices and those babies take up a lot of space especially if you shop at Costco and get the big sizes so enter in these I love these they come I think I got a 24 pack I've linked it below um, but they're super easy you just slide them open there's two different settings on them and they come with every spice label imaginable actually so that was super fun because all I had to do is first wash them, but second put my spices inside and then slap the label on it right onto the side of the refrigerator and it works great. Enter in this hero. This, I have a larger sink, thank the Lord. Um, and this sits always, looks like I'm in jail. This sits always on the left side of my sink. Um, it's silicone, so it's heat resistant. I'll put all kinds, I'll prep on here. It actually like doubles my space that I prep on. I love it and actually I know for a fact that if we move into another home this would come with me. I just love it as a dry rack. It just folds up so nicely. It works. I love it. I just love it and you need it. We did not have a pantry when we moved into this house. Where was I supposed to put our food? It's, it's unclear. So we made our pantry. I actually have two pantries, which I'll show you now. This is our armoire. And it's really cool because it's completely shelved on the inside. The upper part is all of my canned goods, um, dry goods, anything you can think of. And in the bottom of that area, I keep a lot of my additional wares like Pyrex bowls or my rice cooker. Last but not least, the wall baskets. I got this beauty at Hobby Lobby and I jumped on there to see if they still have them. I couldn't find them online, so I don't know if they're in store. I know not everyone has the luxury of having a Hobby Lobby near them, so there's lots of different options on Amazon. I linked a few cute ones. My favorite thing is that it goes all the way to the floor, so I can store pretty heavy things in there without feeling like it's gonna fall off the wall. I tend to store most of my produce in here so I can see it before things go bad. I hope this has been helpful. Our kitchen is ever evolving. I'm constantly thinking of ways that I can make this space better or make it work for our needs. So I would love to hear if you have ideas that have worked for you in your small kitchen. 
And in the meantime, leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these was your favorite. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time.